Hi, uh, this is my uh, 2018 Rumble motorbike. I'm um, in the last couple of months, I was in the process of upgrading the motor, hub motor from 2000 watt to a 3000 watt motor. So uh, I actually ordered it from uh, Alibaba Express uh, QS motor site. This is their latest version 3, 3000 watt uh, hot motor. And you can see this is the, the original one, 2000 watt. And uh, one thing notice about the face wear. The face wear on the new one, 3000 watt, is much thicker than the original one on the 2000 watt. So it's been a really long, long, frustrating processing, upgrading the hot motor. And originally I just thought I could just uh, get the new hot motor and uh, everything would work, work out perfectly. But uh, there are so many hurdles. So first of all, it's really heavy. And uh, once you install, put on, the new hot motor and uh, the brake disc uh, spacer doesn't work because this new one is a little bit thicker so uh, I had to find a, a different size spacer it's, I had to take to a motor shop to have them uh, fit the brake disc for me I had to uh, Reroute this uh, face wire, uh, sensor hole wire. Uh, it's much uh, rigid, much thicker to manipulate. And uh, there's a lot of uh, wiring difference, so too. So, um, but uh, I was able to act, connect everything to the original controller and uh, it's up running but the one caveat is is cannot, the original controller cannot handle the 3000 watt the original controller is for uh, 1500 to 2000 watt uh, motor for watt so it doesn't function properly it just uh, die in the middle of accelerations it, it doesn't have enough power you can see this original controller. So after a long process of researching and talk to people from QS Motor on the Alibaba Express site, I decided to order the Kelly controller. This one is uh, KLS 7230N. It's, uh, Supposed for power range between 3000 watt and 4000 watt. The most, uh, a lot of challenge of this thing upgrading is wiring. So you see the new motor and um, the new hot motor come with a different uh, six number pin for the hall sensor. It's waterproof. The older original. I, I don't know if I can show you the sensor pen is you can see from here is it's smaller it's not a uh, waterfall so it doesn't fit so I have to uh, wire a different adapter to fit into the the water proof pen and also once I order the controller caddy controller there's a it, it, it has a nine pin, two nine pin waterproof wiring. So, I saw to figure a lot of things out how to uh, connect to the throttle uh, sensor, how to uh, connect to the power lock, and uh, all that stuff. For me, it's very challenging because I don't have a background of uh, electric engineer, and, and, and I, I just feel my. Uh, uh, you know, electrician test, if I'm taking one, I just have no idea, but just a lot of Googling, a lot of testing, a lot of uh, trying error, and you can
can see how much wear that is in there. So finally have trouble to uh, make connection for the programming of Caddy controller. Finally, after a couple of days, figured that out. Then I have trouble having the throttle working. Now today we have a breakthrough. The throttle finally works after I'm doing some kind of testing here. So this is not finished product. I have to rewire again to make it very tidy. But you can see a lot of work went into this upgrade. Not as easy as I originally thought. So I had to purchase a new hub motor. I had to purchase the Kelly controller. I had to purchase several wiring connections, but I don't eat well now, but I'm doing my own uh, wirings. Uh, I have all the uh, pins, all the tools. So uh, creeping, I learned how to creep. Uh, a lot of learning curves for me, for sure. And uh, it's very frustrating uh, exercise for the least. And, but uh, finally figure it's working now. And uh, let's see if I can turn it on. You can see twist the throttle. Uh, still, something is not quite right. I have to see what's going on. Oh, power is off. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I'll post a different video once it's all done. Hopefully it'll be sometime soon. Okay, thanks for watching.